so in today's video we are going to be learning how to make a fake video call on google hangout google chat and google meet now if you are familiar with these platforms you will know that all these three are just a single platform that works hand in hand and take note that this video is just for educational purposes only so very quickly you will need a money cam to start this particular process now you will need the older version of the money cam to do this perfectly so you either install the older version of the money cam on your device or you would have to pay for some of the features in the new version but if you need any help in installing the older version let me know in the comment section so after having my manicam application installed what i need to do is to introduce the video of how i would like to look like in my fake video call to do that you are going to be clicking onto the menu icon in your live manicam so from the drop down menu go ahead and click onto add media it will take you directly to your device where you need to add the video of how you would want to look in your fake video call. You can see that there are borders on the video. Now this got to do with the dimension or the ratio in which the video was shot. So this video actually looks like a short video. So if you are going to be shooting a video for your fake video call, take the video with your phone turned horizontally. But you can actually play with a video like this to fit perfectly. So with that you are going to be clicking onto the zoom plus option. Increase it a bit in order to have the video fully fit in your timeline. So as you can see, I've got my video fully fit and it will not look like a fake video anymore. However, you can notice that the money cam watermark is being shown on the video. And when you begin your video call like this, this will show in the video as well. So in order to have this removed, what you need to do is to click on to test. You have the option to deselect money cam logo. And that will immediately take off the Manicam logo available on your video. However, for you to do this in the latest version of the Manicam, you would actually need to pay for the upgraded version. So kindly make sure you get the older version of the Manicam installed. So once the Manicam logo has been removed, you have a clean looking video for your call. However, you need to make sure that the audio coming from the video is not heard by the other party. So to reduce that also, you click on to audio and then go ahead and mute the audio in this particular video you want to use. Another thing you also need to do before you move on is sometimes your videos might not be long enough. So in order for other partners to see you consistently, you need to loop or repeat this particular video. So by clicking on to loop or repeat, it is going to repeat this particular video over and over again in the call. So you will just make the call for a few minutes or seconds and then they will be able to see you clear enough. So once that is done, we are going ahead with the video call and I'm going on to filehippo.com in order to open up my Google chat. So once you've come here, you are going to be selecting the contact you want to make the call with. Now there are two ways to make a video call on this particular platform. The very first method is the one that we commonly know that is calling the person on a video call. If they are online at that particular period, they will pick up. However, you can see that by default, the camera and the microphone in the google chat is being turned off i'm going to be showing you how you can turn that on later as we move on and the second way of making a video call is going on to google meet so right here you are going to start a new meeting go ahead and start an instant meeting so the video call session is going to begin and how this particular format works is you are going to be given a code or a link which you are going to be sharing to anyone you want to join the video call with you so you can do this with multiple people if you want but the first option is just a video call with a single person so i'm going to be entering this particular code on google meet on my phone and once the person has been able to pick up i need to make sure that the video in the money cam is playing before i turn on the camera so once you are sure that the video is playing in the money cam what you need to do next is to go ahead and turn on your camera so click onto camera and then select use camera allow while using this particular platform or allow just once so immediately you have allowed camera the video in the money cam will start to play as you can clearly see on your screen from here you can decide to turn on the microphone if you want and with that you are going to be using the microphone of your device that is your laptop and if you have someone who is of the same gender of the person you use for the fake video call you can let that person speak so that the other partner can be able to hear your voice as you continue the video call as well so depending on the type of video that you use for this particular lesson we determine how you would go about your process of making this call so thank you so much for your time i believe you've learned a teen or two if there's anything else you want to know you can reach out or let me know in the comment section and i will be able to assist you personally thank you and please subscribe